What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video. So today I'm going to talk about one of the newest game modes to drop inside of the Crucible in Destiny and that is Infernal Control. So Infernal Control recently came out this week. It is the newest game mode in Destiny's Crucible and basically if you guys don't know what Infernal Control is, it's pretty similar to regular control except the fact that you don't have a radar anymore. So Inferno Control is kind of similar to hardcore mode of control like in Call of Duty if you guys ever played those then you might know that but anyways not having a radar is the major change in Inferno Control and so not having a radar does take away a lot from the game. Um, people utilize their radar quite a bit in knowing where their enemies are, where their teammates are and just having really good map awareness in order to better position themselves on the map in order to get more kills to help them win the game. So taking away the radar takes away a lot and it makes the game a little bit different and it changes up how you play the game now. So other changes besides not having a radar in Infernal Control is the fact that when you capture a flag it captures the flag faster um, so you're not going to be standing on a point for a long period of time kind of being more vulnerable it saves you from that so you won't be a sitting duck too long while you're capturing a flag and also they change the scoring a little bit so you don't get points for assists and stuff now and it's mainly focusing on kills kills are mainly the thing that's going to get you your points in this game assists aren't going to help as much and then last thing that they changed is that you only get heavy ammo one time during the match so with all these changes to this version of Control, it makes it a little bit more challenging as well as competitive. And I'm going to give you guys some of my tips on how to do well in this game mode. So first thing I want to talk about is map awareness. Map awareness is very crucial in Crucible in general. I think being aware of where your enemies are is really good in helping you get more kills and more points in order to help your team win the match. So now that you don't have any radar, being aware of what control points your team controls is very crucial because knowing what control points you have can allow you to figure out where your enemy is coming from or where they currently are and then this allows you to be prepared for a gunfight in order to get more kills. So that's the first thing. And then also be aware of where your teammates are because that can always give you an indication of where your enemies are spawning on the map as well and then that could give you an advantage and get a jump on them and allow you to get more kills as well. So the second tip I have for you guys is communication and sound cues. That is another major thing in this game mode that's going to help you out a lot. So going in there with a team of people, you don't have to go in there with a full team of six but if you do that's always beneficial because then everyone on your team can communicate to each other. Um, sometimes you can go ahead and try to use the fire team voice chat, but I'm not sure how many people use that ever since they implemented it. Sometimes people use it, sometimes people don't. It seems like the majority of people don't use it though, so I'd say going in with a fire team is probably the better idea here. But anyways, communicating is very crucial in Infernal Control because your teammates can help you out in figuring out where an enemy is coming from or where some of the enemies are and you guys can get a jump on them and get more kills that way. Also sound cues are really important in this game mode. If you guys hear someone firing up like a golden gun or going into a blade dancer or stuff like that then it helps a lot in being aware of your surroundings, knowing when to lay low and stay away from people using those super abilities and things like that. So sound cues can be really important in helping you out as well. Also be aware of when the heavy ammo drops because there's only one heavy ammo drop in each match and getting that heavy ammo is a game changer always. So getting that heavy ammo and securing it from your enemy is really crucial in helping your team gain an advantage in winning the whole match because there's only one time that it drops and you can't drop heavy ammo once they kill you if you already picked it up. So that could be crucial in allowing your team to get more kills in order to secure your victory. Also be aware of when your teammates are capturing points on the map because that gives you a lot of map awareness as well in uh, figuring out if you flip the spawns or not, if your teammate is spawning on the other side of the map now, or if it's just one or two people capturing a flag and you could possibly go in there and get a couple kills. 
And then the last tip that I have pertains a little bit to map awareness as well, and that is to know where the high traffic areas on the map are. So if you know where the high traffic areas are, where your enemies are typically going to go on the map, then you're able to anticipate where they're going to be, and this could help you get easy kills that way as well. So those are my tips for Inferno Control. Overall, I'm enjoying the game mode. I like how it's a little bit more competitive because it doesn't rely only on abusing your supers or your heavy ammo because it only drops one time or your radar. It relies more on communication with your teammates as well as your knowledge of the map and things like that. So I like it a lot and hopefully when the other Inferno modes come out it's going to be just as good and more competitive as well. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, go ahead and try out Inferno Control. Grab a group of friends and go try it out. It's pretty competitive, pretty fun, and spices things up inside of Destiny during this kind of dull phase in between expansion packs. So that's about it. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.